All right. So here we are back at the uh, Free Code Camp Response Web Design main page. I said that that last time was going to be the last time, but this is actually going to be the last time. I figured I'd do some final thoughts on Response Web Design. We went through the whole thing from Cat Photo App all the way down to the last one. Uh, and I'm sure, okay, if you haven't done this before, uh, it gets a little frustrating in here, okay? On some of these, like, you need to know something like uh, the flavor class or something, and it doesn't tell you. And so you get a little confused in it, right? But the thing is, <clears throat> by the time we get to around here, maybe even around here, actually around here, we start using the uh, W3 schools and the MDM sites to uh, help us out because W3 schools is going to give us the stuff. Like, let's just say like some CSS transition like that. Uh, transition property. How about that? So we would go somewhere like CSS transitions and we'd look at all this stuff right here and right here. And if we really needed to go in depth, we could just read the whole page. Uh, but basically, we figured out that this is what well, this is basically how you make a web page uh, in this day and age, other than using Wix, of course. <laughs> I mean, I don't know why we wouldn't other than just to know how to actually manipulate a website under the hood. You know what I mean? <clears throat> That being said, uh, yeah, so W3 Schools is basically the way to do it. Once you, if you have a question about anything, we figure it out pretty much at some point. And then throughout the rest of the thing, it's a breeze. Uh, any questions we have, we just go through, go to W3 Schools and it'll, it tells us pretty much every time. So I say I give Free Code Camp's responsive web design uh, five stars out of five because of the value. <clears throat> I mean, it's free. OK, and also the jokes. All right. They they like to mess with us in a few of these uh, and it's really frustrating. But then you have to remember, oh, yeah, I'm not really paying for this. And uh, they're actually doing me a favor. So maybe there's a video online that'll tell me how to do this. You know, hint, hint. Uh, anyway, so that's pretty much it. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, going through any more of these is a waste of time. Uh, just letting you know that it is definitely worth it uh, to to do this whole course because I feel like I know a lot more about CSS and HTML uh, doing responsive web design. And so right after this, we're going to get into uh, what is the JavaScript algorithms and there's quite a quite a few of these. Uh, I already went through this, but yeah, I'll go through it again, no problem. But yeah, there's quite a few of these. Just not there's really not as many as responsive web design. Like this one's got more almost as many as the most of response web design, but the rest of them are pretty lightweight. Uh, it's just they're a little difficult because like this stuff right here, the algorithm scripting and stuff like that. Uh, if we don't know it, which we don't until we get into this, it's a little bit hard. So anyway, just letting you know. Uh, so we'll be getting on this at some point. Um, and I'm going to probably put this as my top video to look at once you go onto this screen. But yeah, response web design definitely worth worth your time and effort. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. So uh, that's it. And we'll see you next time.